Welcome back friends. In this video, we will look into how to build static website using S3 bucket contents. I'm on the S3 homepage. Okay, first uh, I'll, I'll create bucket. Okay, let me click on create bucket. And uh, let me give bucket name. Uh, I already have bucket name. Let me copy paste here. Okay, this is bucket name, right? One key point about bucket name is that bucket name must be unique across all AWS account. So usually adding a domain name is a good practice. So that's reason I've added domain name here. Uh, for reason, Northern Virginia region is fine because this is my nearest location. Okay, default is fine since I will be using this bucket as a static website. Okay, I will uncheck this all public access checkbox. Okay. And now it is asking that I need to acknowledge it because the reason is that I'm, I am made this bucket public, right? For bucket versioning, I will have it as a disable. Okay, rest all settings as default is fine. Okay, so now let's click on create bucket. So what I will do now, and this bucket has been created, I will select this bucket. Okay, and I will upload a couple of files. Let me click on upload. I'll upload these three files. Okay, one is index.html, which is the um, which will act as a home page for my website. And these two are just a very simple JPEG. Okay, let me click on open. And this is the destination folder, right? So this this all three file will be it's going into this folder. Okay, click on upload. And now the upload has succeeded. Okay, click on close button and you can see these three files. Okay, so now what I'll do, I will come to properties. Okay. Okay, and I'll come down. Okay, so static website hosting is right now disabled. Click here and make it enable. And here, this option hosting type host aesthetic website, this option is enabled. Okay, since I have already uploaded index.html, so I can type here index.html this will act as a home or default page for my website. Okay. And now click on save changes. Okay. Now I should be able to get the URL of my static website. This is the URL of my static website. I'll copy it and I'll open new tab here. Let me paste it. Okay. I'm getting here access denied 403 forbidden. What I'll do, I'll come here. And in my permissions tab for this bucket, I will have to add policy here. Okay. Uh, click on the edit and then click on add new statement. Okay. So I need to add bucket policy so that this bucket can be accessible because right now, even though bucket is public, but it's still bucket policy is missing permission. I'll say, okay, anyone can access my website effect allow what action I want. S3 get object uh, means I don't want people to delete, modify, just access object for resource. And I'll write here forward slash star that way it will apply to all object in this in this bucket okay this is my bucket policy let's save it okay so now if i come to my uh, this website and, and refresh it i can see my website okay this is the index.html file i had so let me show you the content of the index.html file this is the content of index.html file this is the heading and there are these two images okay that's the reason you see here the heading beautiful nature scenes and two images okay that's it for this demo it was about how to build a static website using s3 i hope you liked it let's meet in the next lecture